Fine plan to turn Kansas into a conservative sanctuary exposed is the uh, title of a piece by uh, Sherman Smith at the Kansas Reflector, which is a, a, a Kansas newspaper. It's up with the story of Adam Peter, who is a uh, the chair of the Ellis County, Kansas Republican Party, and he is in a church, the Riverside Baptist Church in Hunt, Hot, Hutchison, Kansas, where he is speaking to the Reno County Republicans. Yes, let's go to a church for our meeting, and let's have this guy give us give a speech. He outlines his plans to turn Kansas into a conservative sanctuary. And this was uh, secretly recorded, by the way, by this newspaper, the Kansas Reflector. And he, he basically said Republicans have to purge the state of anyone who disagrees with them on uh, basically any issue they consider important. Uh, LGBTQ issues, uh, reproductive health care, abortion, birth control, education, race, you name it. If you disagree with Republicans, they want you to leave Kansas. Here's, here's literally what he said. These are his actual words. If, if you can make it hostile to that group of people, that small sliver of society. Now, again, he's talking about gay people. He's talking, or the, the entire queer community. He's talking about people of color. He's talking about, uh, you know, liberals. If you can make it hostile to that group of people, that small sliver of society, and have them move elsewhere, that does a huge amount to shut this down. It's both sides of it. You need to attract the good people here, but you also need to make it clear to the bad people, this ain't going to go well for you. Right. His five-point plan to turn Kansas into a conservative sanctuary starts with, quote, some ideas to make things less than ideal for the folks involved. Uh, one, of, one of the points, he said, it's normal to have a belief in a higher power. It's not normal to create, create an army for this higher power and then do vigilante justice. And you're, oh, yeah, excuse me, that, that's somebody who's, a, who's uh, disagreeing with him, says uh, Amber Dickinson, associate professor of political science at Washburn University. Other points in Peter's plan include making it a felony for a mob to invade a business, like that happens all the time, right? Allowing the attorney general to initiate criminal charges when local prosecutors decline changing the way the Kansas Supreme Court justices are appointed, and adopting rules that ban critical theory from being used in workplace training. Yes, these small government Republicans want to reach into your company. And if you, as the owner of that company, say anything about race, like, hey, you know, uh, uh, we've got an opening coming up, let's make sure that, you know, uh, the people of color know about this. Let's, you know, let's advertise this where where, uh, you know, people who aren't straight white men are more likely to see it. Women, trans people, you know, people of color, if, if whatever. If you want to do that in Kansas, they <laughs> want to make every life dif difficult for you. In fact, here's what he said. It's hard to imagine that critical theory is not a main driver behind much of the degradation that we're seeing in society today, says Mr. Peters. Whether it's rising crimes, rising suicide rates, racial strife, whether it's about just any, just about anything else. So, you know, we saw, they, they saw, the Republicans in Kansas, they saw Ron DeSantis do this in Florida. They saw Greg Abbott do it in Texas and get reelected in both cases. And so, yeah, let's make red states hostile to people who might not be inclined to uh, hate as their principal political uh, way of you know, conducting themselves. Donald Trump was supposed to hold a rally this weekend in uh, Iowa, by the way. Iowa has the first in the nation caucus, for the, at least for the Republicans. And uh, Ron DeSantis was in Iowa. And Trump was going to show him up. And then Trump tweets this message from his plane saying, I'm sitting in the plane and I hear that the, uh, there's the terrible weather in Iowa. And so I'm not going to be coming. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll schedule it for another time. Well, it turns out there were a bunch of reporters at the place where Trump was going to hold his rally. 
And, you know, he was flying out there. He was going to be there in an hour and a half and, and do his rally or two hours and do his rally. And there was nobody there. I mean, at the most, 300 people had shown up. The place was empty. It was a ghost town. That's why he canceled his rally. And the picture of that is starting to go viral. And uh, the reality of it, in fact, they were just talking about it a moment ago on MSNBC. The reality of that is uh, uh, starting to dawn on people, which raises an interesting question. Are Republicans starting to say goodbye to Trump and hello to DeSantis? I mean, here you've got Kansas following DeSantis in terms of passing legislation that makes it un unpleasant or difficult to live in Kansas if you happen to be gay or black or lesbian or trans or Hispanic or Asian or Native American or uh, Jewish or Muslim or Hindu, uh, you know, anything that is not straight white male Christian or even a woman. If you're a woman living in Kansas, I mean, you know, the Kansas legislature passed an abortion ban. I believe the governor, who is a Democrat, vetoed it. But, uh, you know, are they going to override the veto? I don't know. We'll see. But, but this is, this appears to be the trend in red states, is to turn red states harder and harder and harder to the right. And in this, they're all imitating Ron DeSantis. Donald Trump, meanwhile, can't, can't get more than 300 people to show up for a rally in Iowa, for God's sake. And so I'm starting to think between, yeah, you know, I, go, I go back and forth on this, frankly. I know we all do, right? Is Trump, is Trump a viable candidate for 2024? Yes, no, yes, no. He certainly has a lot of support among the Republican base. The Republican base is, however, shrinking is getting smaller and smaller literally every day. And it has become largely the Trump base. There are some states where only registered Republicans can vote in the primaries, they're called closed primaries, and some states where anybody can vote in the primaries, including independents, which is what carried the last, the 2016 election for Donald Trump and lost him the 2020 election. And so, you know, this is a tough one for Democrats because you've got some Democrats, like, you know, after Trump's town hall on CNN, the reports were that they were gleeful in the White House because it showed America, you know, what a, what a Nazi Trump is, essentially. And it, it, you know, frankly, his performance probably hurt him among independent voters. And, you know, like I said before, it certainly didn't help uh, uh, CNN any because the people who love Trump tuned in for one hour to watch him and then they'll never come back and the people who hate trump didn't bother to watch and they're pissed off at cnn now for putting him on the air and giving him all that free airtime but you know desantis had this drop in the polls that seemed to correlate to stories about him being a little weird that he doesn't establish eye contact with people that he bobs his head a lot that he uh he talks funny that he doesn't uh, have empathy um, you know, whether, this, whether these are indicators of, you know, his being somewhere on the autistic spectrum or whether it's just he's a, just a good old-fashioned so psychopath or sociopath or he's just weird. I mean, who knows? But whatever it is, you know, people apparently didn't like it. Well, I, I wouldn't count him out. He's experiencing a revival right now. Now, that said, we're a year and a half out from the election. And I remember, you know, President Howard Dean and President Paul Ryan and and uh, President Scott Walker, I mean, don't you? It's all those people who were way ahead a year and a half out. They were definitely going to be the candidates of their party. So, uh, you know, we'll see where this goes. We'll see how it plays out. But uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's not going to work out well.